Okay, welcome back to my channel. So just a piece of advice, please use caution when you use alcohol inks. Okay, welcome back to my channel. Today we're playing with the alcohol inks, as I said. So I have some Yupa paper, which I'm wetting down with alcohol to make it the alcohol ink flow better because otherwise it'll just kind of be stuck, it splatters and it doesn't actually move. And I um, taped it down so it doesn't go all over the place. So now I'm just starting with blue. I'm going to use blue, green, um, yellow, gold and white for the kind of the frosty stuff on top of the waves. Because we're going to make, create a beach scene like the crashing waves onto the beach, the sandy beach. I'm kind of doing this how I used to do the acrylic pouring. I'm just gonna layer it up and um, just mush it, tap it up all over. It's easier to, to spread that way. Just make sure you have gloves on so it doesn't, like it, it dries up your hands because of the alcohol. And just as I look at this, it looks like it's like a cat face, sort of. Now I mixed the green and the blue together to make it a little darker. So, so this is um, also a review on the pinata alcohol inks. Um, they are very pigmented so you can't really they don't spread very well on their own so that's why you need alcohol ink. So now I'm doing those little frothy pieces on top of the waves and um, the white is really thick so it doesn't really spread very well so you, you kind of have to help it along I think I'm going to use a straw here, but eventually I think I'm going to use my hands. You can use a um, old uh, pe um, brush to, to kind of move it around. You have a little bit of time because it's still wet. We're going to do some a little more defining, the, put a little more depth into it, give it more Uh, let's just try to have some definition, I guess. So we're... I'm adding some green to the blue. And it always um, seems worse before it gets better. I need to do the art, I think. So these, like I said, you can really see now that uh, the green is really um, very thick, very pigmented. So I'm trying to kind of move it around a little bit. I'm gonna use it. I guess I'm gonna use a brush here. I'm adding some alcohol to make it flow better because it's really, really thick. And I probably put a little bit too much because I keep on forgetting that alcohol inks are not like alcohol um, acrylic paint. So I have to thin it down. What you also can do is have a, a um, palette and I can just mix the colors with alcohol ink and then make them thinner to use, ready to go, so you don't have to do this. I mean you still can add it obviously, but because if you put alcohol ink on here, it kind of creates some white spots, which is kind of cool. That's a cool effect if you want that. 
just try to thin it down or try to move it around. Okay, and I'm just adding some yellow for the beach. And I'm just gonna spread it around a little bit, try to blow on it, move it. But my trusty brush is always the best in this case. And it's really a good idea to use an old brush because they're gonna they dry out really fast from the alcohol. But whatever you have on hand, I guess will work. I'm just gonna make it a sort of a the grass before the sand kind of idea. I thought I needed a little more de um, definition than just the gold for the beach. Here we go. Speaking of which, here comes the gold. Oh, I think it get clogged up pretty quick because it's thicker, so it's... I have to make sure that you shake them well and it comes a lot out at once, as you can see. You just have to spread them around. Trying to mix it in a little bit with the water. See how it glitters? Yeah, the I think most of the metallics are like that. Thick. And here comes my fingers. Laying around again, just putting the finishing touches on it. It kind of looks like a beach now, don't you think? And I'm really uh, enjoying these colors. They're just kind of on the pricey side. There is other ones that are less pigmented, so it's kind of depending on your um, preference, I guess. So I'm trying to just put in some Defining the waves again more because they kind of blend it all in and doing the same spiel as I did before. So I definitely recommend these colors um, to use. Like I said, they're a little pricey. But I think they're worth it. You only need to put um, use a little bit. And um, yeah, if you are, I mean, if you thin them out with the, the alcohol, you should be fine. Just, you know, it's fun to play with something new. I'm um, trying to make some more videos on alcohol inks with the different colors. This is the blue one, all the blue sort of tones. So we'll try to do something more like red and purple. I will put up a video pretty soon, uh, the alcohol inks on ceramics again, and this time I will um, put a um, kind of like a primer, acrylic primer down, like just acrylic color paint. So we'll see, that that should help um, that it moves around better. And I also want to like, I'm going to put a painting up um, all about how to put alcohol inks on canvas. That's the same kind of idea you prime it with alcohol, uh, with acrylic paint, and then it should make it slide around. So uh, I'm just like gonna wa let you watch a little bit more here. I'm just kind of moving it around. I'm trying to, I think this get, looks even messier now. Try to just get that beach scene to come to life, I guess.
Okay, so we're pretty much done now. I just gotta take the tape off. Unfortunately, the tape didn't work out too well. It kind of was bleeding through it, but oh well, I think I just used the wrong tape. And the blue one or green one I usually use works better. But it's okay because I have like a frame, sort of like a, it's like a sleeve you put it in and it has, it's cut out as a mat around it. So they're perfect for these little pieces of art, like paper. You'll see it in a second. So yeah, I re definitely um, recommend these piñata inks. They're really nice to work with. Like I said, a little pricey, but they're probably worth it if you use them. It, you know, diluted a lot, then you won't have to use so much, especially for little pieces. I'm going to um, put another video up soon about um, alcohol inks on canvas. So it should be um, up pretty soon. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you sub subscribe, like, and share. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.